Open up! Who would do this? Shit. What's wrong with you? Someone's one night mistake. A mistake? <laughs> Maybe Diana's. This isn't the time for jokes. Let me guess. That helmet can't come off, can it? So creepy. I don't want it near me. Where the hell did this thing come from? Forget it. Shouldn't we be trying to get out of here? Impossible. This is a confinement room. The bar is only open from the other side. Nothing to do but ask whoever did this to let us out. The mastermind's right there! That kid locked us up! So he was the one who put these on us? It... It... wasn't me! Uh, it talks! Beneath my foot, there's a coin. One side of it is red, while the other side is blue. Which side of the coin is facing up? Make a guess. However, you only get one chance. Do we get something if we get it right? You fail. I promise that I will release all of you. And what if we're wrong? You won't lose. You will have to stay in the game until at least six of you are dead. What? Let's go with blue! It's red. Right! Red! It's gotta be red! 50-50 chance. And the odds for each are the same. Then we should vote! Wait! I can't believe you guys! Kane's right! You're just going to do what he says? What do you think, Kane's? You are the leader of this group. I will take your decision as everyone's final answer. What are you talking about? I'll let Carlos choose. Pick red. It's blue. So what do you say, Carlos? I... No, Carlos! Don't answer him! Time to choose, Carlos. You are that solitary snail. The fate of the world rests on your decision. It's red. Didn't I say it'd be red? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Mm. Well done, Carlos! Are you some kind of clairvoyant? It was just luck. I had a 50% chance. It's not too hard to get it right. Hey, hold on a sec! Okay, sure, you lucked out with your guess. But what if you had gotten it wrong? 
What does it matter? Everything worked out fine. So, are you going to make good on our deal? Fear not. I'm a fair person. I promised to release you, and I shall. Ah, but before that, I apologize. But you must all sleep. Sleep? When next you wake, you will forget everything that just happened here. Why would we forget? I wonder. Pleasant dream. I know. You're... on why are we outside i have no clue when i woke up we were on the ground over there huh what is it didn't we all have something attached to our left wrists hmm uh, i suppose we might have coin huh nothing I just saw an image of a coin flash in my mind. It was flipped and falling. Ah, uh, come to think of it. Damn, I, I can't remember anything. Me neither. Neither can I. It somehow feels like... Like I made a bet with someone, but... Someone? Kind of bet. Did we all forget what happened? Hey, uh, could I ask all of you something? Who is this kid? Time to choose, Carlos. You are that solitary snail. The fate of the world rests on your decision. That's why I told you, Red. Uh. 
Carlos, you asshole! You got it wrong! Carlos... What were you thinking? Hey, wait a second! Carlos isn't the one to be blamed for all this. Right. The person who started it is... So? What now? You should know already. You were wrong. So the game continues. Until six people are dead, huh? At least six. It's possible there may be more than that. Why don't we hurry and get this over with then? Before we begin, we want Oliver to go to sleep. Sleep? When next you wake, you will have forgotten everything that just happened there. Forget? But why? There's no point in telling you now. You won't remember anything in a moment. Pleasant dreams. Carlos! Akane! Bastard! What the hell's going on? You brought all of us here! No! It's not me! Then what the fuck is that stupid thing on your head? Let it go, Eric. No need to take it all out on the kid. Mira! I wonder what this is. <sighs> Give it up, Diana. It's better that you don't force it off. Why do you say that? You should listen to her. I get the feeling she's seen it before. Bracelet? That's what it was called a year ago. Right, Akane? Junpei. Good morning. How are you feeling? Who's this? I am Zero. The second, Zero. The second? Let me make one thing clear. This is a recording. So don't bother asking questions as I cannot answer them. I'd like to tell you an old story. Seventeen years ago, on a rainy morning, a woman went jogging in a large park. Her usual route led her to a fork in the road. Normally she'd run down the right path. And for some reason, this day, she chose the left. Along the way, she bumped into a senior citizen she saw every day. Surprised to see her, they asked, Why did you come this way today? This was her reply. Because there was a snail. Her body was discovered a few hours later. Murdered. They found her in some bushes along the left path. Sometimes, life is simply unfair, don't you think? What the hell is all this nonsense? It's the same for all of you. The pull of an unjust fate carried you along to this moment, only to find yourselves in this bomb shelter 50 meters below ground. Wait, what? As you can see, this place is divided into three sections. Carlos, Akane, and Junpei, you three are in Ward C. You will henceforth be referred to as C-Team. 
your leader shall be Carlos. Next is Q, Mira, and Eric. You are located toward Q. Your name will be QT. As evidenced by the name, the leader is Q. Hey, wait! Is this a joke? And finally, Diana, Phi, and Sigma. Ward D is where the three of you are. Diana is the leader. That makes you the D team. You may wander as you like, as long as you remain within your respective walls. There is a time limit, however. 90 minutes. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. And then it's then, and an agent to erase your memories will be arrested. Memory erasing drugs? As a result, you'll all fall into a deep, uninterrupted sleep. But you will also forget everything that occurred in those past 90 minutes. What? The bracelet has an additional function. A watch. Pressing the buttons on each side simultaneously will display the time. Hmm. 12, 10. Today is December 31st, New Year's Eve. The year turns over in less than half a day. Unfortunately, very few of you will find yourselves able to welcome a new 2029. Take a look at the door. It's clearly marked with an X. Beyond this X door is a hallway with an elevator. Riding the elevator up will take you above ground. There's no other way out. The door is easy enough to open. Simply obtain the X passes and enter them into the input device beside it. Six X passes are needed for it to unlock. One X pass will be announced every time someone dies. In blunter terms, if six of you die, the rest will gain all of the passwords and will be able to open the X door. <laughs> this is bullshit. One caveat. The door remains open for only 30 seconds. Once that passes, it will automatically close. And never open again. Oh yes. With this information, surely some of you at this point are thinking, How can I kill six people? What? N no one would- I'll give you one opportunity. By majority vote, determine one team to execute. What? Do you see the computer at the corner of the room? The team names of your newfound enemies will be displayed on that monitor. Choose the team you've decided to eliminate. Each team gets one vote. The leader must submit it for the group. Your deadline is 13.30. Any team that hasn't voted before the time limit is up shall be penalized two votes. The group of two or more votes will lose. Every number of that team will be executed. Let us begin. This is the decision game, a game of fate. The lives of you, me, and the human race hang in the balance. This is weird. 
There should be another room around here somewhere. Uh, let me see it! Uh, hey! Shut up! He's got the right to see it too. Mira. Thank you. It's pretty pointless to hang out here kicking our heels. Let's go back to the lounge. What is this? Let's inhibit the virus. Maybe someone's gonna remove or control some kind of virus. Virus? What virus? Um, about the vote? What will we do? Don't ask me. But if we don't do it, doesn't that mean we'll die? Yeah. Even if C team voted for D team, and D team did the reverse. If we refuse, then we get two votes against us automatically. And Q team would be killed. I suppose that's true if this game is for real. So you're saying it's a joke? Don't you think that would make a whole lot more sense? The DCOM staff will probably pop through that door over there yelling surprise. Oh, <laughs> I get it. You're right. Then him being here makes sense now. I bet that means you're part of the whole surprise. Mm. No! Come on. Take off that helmet. I can't. Huh? I said I can't take it off. Damn, brat. Stop bullshitting me. Uh, stop! Stop! You'll break my neck! Damn. It's really on there. Wait. I see something on the side of this thing. the hell? Isn't it a password input? Does that mean the helmet comes off with the right numbers? Or maybe his head will explode. Uh, hey! Really? Who are you? I don't know. I don't remember. I woke up and I was here. Are you saying you have amnesia? Um, maybe. you something what Mira Eric what's going on between you two going on uh, uh well are you in love idiot no uh, we're not we're not uh, well, well we're not not but wait what I was wondering, where are we? Weren't you listening to Zero earlier? We're 50 meters underground in a bomb shelter. I know that, but where exactly? Uh... I doubt we're very far from DCOM. Uh, DCOM? Dwelling for the cohabitation of Mars. So, it's an experiment to see if we could survive on Mars? Uh-huh. We all lived together in that compound for five days. C-Team and D-Team were there too. Oh, and there was a dog. It was incredibly old. I think his name was Gab. But not you. You weren't there. It's very suspicious. Oh, what were they testing for? Psychological data, mostly. It was a closed environment for a group of people for an extended period of time. So how would that mess with the subjects mentally? That was what they were trying to investigate. Uh, what made you sign up? <laughs> Tough question. It seemed like it'd be kind of fun, I guess. Eric? I joined because Mira wanted to. That's it? Well, maybe not entirely. I was wondering, um, who is Zero? Oh, come on! 
Stop playing. You know everything, don't you? I told you, I don't... So you're gonna stick with the idea that this isn't some big surprise? I don't know. I don't remember anything. If this isn't a joke, then things are really serious. Then you're saying one of the teams is actually going to be executed? But why would someone do that? Zero said, it's a game. So then he's a psychopath. This Zero guy's probably off somewhere enjoying seeing us freak out. He could be that serial killer in the news. That's that Heart Ripper, yeah? Yeah. Rumor is they killed 18 people, all in the past few years. March 15th, 2026. The body of a young female was found in a park in Roseville. The victim's name was Virginia Bailey, age 28. The chest was ripped open and the heart entirely removed. It happened again on May 22nd, 2026. The body of a male was found in a trash can near a residence in Sacramento. The victim's name was Jeffrey Foray, age 37. His body was just like Virginia's, with the heart completely gouged out. Two months later, on July 29th... Hey, wait a minute. Don't you have amnesia or something? Why do you know all this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why, but I knew. You gotta be kidding me. You know, I've been trying to figure something out for a while. What is this thing? Maybe it's a gift from Zero. Uh, so what, you think there's assorted teas inside? Gifts don't have to be a good thing, do they? Hey, what the hell? Stop! What if it's some kind of bomb? A bomb? Mm, I don't think it is. Oh, something's on the back. Um, I think this is upside down. So, this would be the front. Force quit box? I guess it stops something. Look, there's also a keyboard. Looks like you're supposed to input a code of some kind. And if we get it right? Then something will be forced to end? But what? Maybe... your life. What was that sound? It came from that way. Oh, let's go! Gab? How did you... You came through the vent. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Why don't you go in? Uh, I can't. Just do it, will ya? <laughs> see? You didn't have this stupid thing on your head. Hey, check this out. There's something inside the case. Is that a coaster? Oh, there's something on it. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. What does this mean? Don't you get it? They're saying to spread the votes. Huh? Spread? I get it. If each team ends up with one vote each, the whole thing is a tie, and no team will be executed. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, now we have a plan. Let's do it. Um, but wait. Why should we wait? Well, what if this message hasn't been delivered to Dichi yet? You're right. The position of this vent does imply it only connects towards C. I doubt Gab's made his way to Ward D yet. We need to figure out how to notify D-Team, then. Hold on a sec. I'll get a pen and cheese. There was some at the bar, right? A pen? And cheese? <laughs> that should do it. What exactly are you doing? Oh, 
Oh, I get it. If Ward C and Ward Q have connected vents, then Q and D are probably connected as well. Yep. We just need to take the cheese and... It's all on you, Gab. Think it'll work? I'm sure it will. Five minutes until the deadline. I wonder if Gab made it to Ward D or not. Even if he did, who knows if Diana will vote the way it says in the note. What? You think she'll betray us? It's not outside the realm of possibility. I don't even want to consider the alternative. Which is? That the whole letter from C Team is a trap. Trap? They could have written it, but maybe Carlos is planning to vote for Q Team instead. Hey, wait a minute now. That's not good. At all. You said it. If I'm right, then we need Diana to do the opposite of what it says. What? But... The deadline to vote is in three minutes. The vote has to be decided by the leader, but... What should we do? We don't have time for a committee. Then we'll just have to use force. Uh, hey, wait! It was a bad choice. Now we wait and see what exactly Carlos and Diana do. If this plan doesn't work, then there are two outcomes that could happen. Either the three and C team die. Or we're the ones executed. No, there's one more possibility. Yeah? It's a joke. Someone is definitely tricking us. So it is you! Survived, they'll be able to regret the decision. As all members of a 